uh, for us from a mental standpoint. You know, we just mm -hmm. some guys were, you know, just a little emotional or from one reason or another thinking about other things. But I think once we got under control, we calmed down and we relaxed. Um, we were able to run our offense the way it was supposed to be. Right. Was it focus? I mean, is is that maybe part of it? That um, yeah, I mean, your mind, your minds probably were all a lot of places with Nick, with his yeah. family, and when they got on football, maybe then it you came. You know, I'm not sure. Maybe you know, I, I couldn't tell you. I know we were trying, you know, to to be focused on offense, but you know, it, it just took us a while to get started. And um, you know, next week we need to start a lot faster. Than that. What was that locker room like emotions wise before the game? I mean, before the game, you know, we just, you know, we knew, I think, what was at stake. We knew what it meant for us, what it mean to the Pasquale family. And mm -hmm. I think that was very important for us to come out and, uh, I guess, in a, in a way, make a statement, you know. And so the emotion before the game was, you know, pretty incredible mm -hmm. on, at, on the field and off the field. Mm -hmm. Could you tell there was kind of a collective exhale? When you got, especially after that that t first touchdown, and then yeah. you guys going to the half, only down by eleven. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think um, in the first half, you know, we were down, but I didn't notice. You know, a lot of people on our team. You know, there wasn't ever uh, people being like, "Oh man, you know, we're down," like you know that we're losing. Um, There's people like you know, we just need to pick it up, come together. Uh, hats off to our defense, you know, for keeping us in. In our first half, we were, we were struggling to, to help them out, but you know, I think that. You know, they, they did um, a good job in the first half and for the rest of the game, um, you know, containing uh, Taylor Martinez as, as, as well as they could because he's a fantastic athlete. Mm -hmm. Did you sense that Nebraska was starting to wear down the second half which, as you guys picked up the tempo? Up? Um, you know what? Maybe a little. Um, they, they didn't have a whole lot of time to sub, you know, especially I noticed from a def defensive line standpoint, when we run tempos, sometimes we'd catch them before they'd get their calls in, you know, and we'd be able to run plays. And so, you know, I'm sure that um, added to our to our success. Was there a loaded effort to pick up the tempo in the second half? Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know, we just, um, that's what our coach was emphasizing, I told Brett as an offensive lineman, and Brett told us that we needed to pick it up and don't start with us because no one can get set until we're set, you know, and we need to get the plays in fast, and so we really tried to concentrate on that. Did you tell, I know Coach Mazzoni said that this offense is always, you know, working better when it's working faster. Right. It, it's can true. you notice that from an offensive line yeah, perspective? it's true. You know, I think when we get this um, kind of this tempo going with our offense, when we get kind of a rhythm, mm -hmm. like I would say, where we could just roll through, come up and know what we're doing, and, you know, we don't really have to to stop mm -hmm. it's uh it just helps us get in the rhythm and helps us roll a lot better and we're able to, i i i kind of actually think that when we move in our tempo um, it's easy for us as an offensive line it's easier for, easier for us to, to pick up you know our assignments to mm -hmm. where we're going on the run because we're so used to that tempo mm -hmm. having two slow starts already so far this season does that give you a, give, give you guys confidence just knowing that you can kind of pick it up yeah no doubt you know i you know i'm saying we um, you know, we beat a good team today, and I think, you know, we're excited for 2-0, but <coughs> what we really need to do is, you know, put it all together, and like I said, hats off to our defense for, for keeping us in it, and, um, you know, I was, I was just, I was, I was real happy with our team and how we responded. From your pers perspective, how's Alex doing? Alex Roman? Yeah. He's doing fine. You know, you know, I have to watch the film after because I'm more worried about Simon, you know, sure. and, and uh, Jake Brennan, you know, helping them out on my side and them helping me. But uh, sounds like Alex is doing pretty good over there. And, um, you know, so we'll have to see. Have you been helping him out? I mean, being a veteran and he's Oh, yeah, no, no doubt. We try to help the younger guys right? as much as we can, um, you know, because the, the better he does, the better we do as a unit. And, uh, yeah, we, you know, after film and after, you know, extra study, we still have more. So. It's uh, it's been real good. Could you, X, could you could you tell that there was a difference in the run game in the second half? Did it? What what, what was the difference? I guess it did, obviously in the second half. You know what? I just think, like I said, we got a rhythm going with our tempo. Um, the way Nebraska's defensive line was playing us, you know, was a little bit uh, different than we. Um, that, that we would expect, you know, and we just needed to make sure we got our, you know, hat on the hat and we just ran the ball. I think the biggest difference, you know, was execution. You know, we just needed to execute. We needed to have Brett and our running backs trust us, and I think they did. So. Cool.